Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to add metallic accents to your watercolors. In a previous video I showed you how to make these watercolor brushes and later in the video I'll show you how to grab those brushes for free. So stick around for that. If you like this video make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources for your blog and business. Now let's get started. Okay, so this right here is a quick demonstration of what I'm talking about with your watercolors. So if you'd like to add something like this, just to add a little dimension to your watercolor images, I want to show you how to do it really quickly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn these two layers off and we're going to add a new layer. So I can just give you a quick example of how uh, I do this. I'm going to use this watercolor number four from the brushes that we created last week. I'm just going to lay down some color. I'm going to bring this color maybe to there and we'll go ahead and add a little bit more. Uh, I'm using the watercolor number five now. These two right here are the ones that we created in the creating watercolor video. So if you're interested in learning how to make these, you can watch that video. And I'm just adding a little bit more color in. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to come up here to the top menus and choose select, then color range. And I'm going to choose um, an area. So maybe this right here. Okay, I'm going to reduce the fuzziness here just so that I'm getting uh, mostly just that top area that I want. So click OK. Once you have that selection, add a new layer. So here in the layers panel, I'm going to choose that new layer and I'm going to use a hard round brush. This is from the default brushes in Photoshop and I'm going to use that. I'm going to change the color so I can kind of see. I'm going to make it a little bit darker and I'm, I'm just going to use that to fill in some of this stuff here. Okay, so that's basically what I've done right there. Okay, Command D on the keyboard to deselect that or Control D on the PC. And then with this layer four selected, that top, that top layer that we just created, we're gonna double click to open up the layer styles. And we're gonna add a pattern overlay on it. You can use any pattern that you want for this. It doesn't have to be this uh, gold. It could be any metallic or any other uh, pattern that you want. I just happen to like the contrast of the soft watercolor with a hard metallic, but this is completely up to you. So with that pattern overlay selected, it's scaled to 50%, which is fine. When you're in this pattern overlay section, you can actually move that pattern around as well. So you can kind of get the pattern in the position that you want it. And we're also going to add a drop shadow here as well. So I'm going to come here to the drop shadow area and I'm going to change the size here to one and I'm going to bring up my opacity uh, to about 40. I'm going to change the color here also to something like that. Make this a little bit darker. Click OK. And now you've got a gold encrusted watercolor. You can, let me go ahead and change the background color so you can see it a little bit better. Change it to this color. And actually I think that this gold that we chose is a little bit too light for this. So I'm going to come back into the patterns. I'm going to choose a darker pattern that looks a lot better. So I'll click OK. If you follow the link that's on the screen right now, that will take you to the free watercolor brushes that we created in last week's video. So if you wanna pick these up, you can grab those in the link that is at the bottom of your screen. Get more step-by-step -step tutorials by clicking on one of the videos on the screen right now. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.